one little half step this direction. And then you can start whenever you're ready. Okay. My name is Jane Stanhope, and I'm telling my quilt story at a community quilt day in Sandy Mush in Leicester, North Carolina. Today is Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. So this is a quilt that my Swiss German great-grandmother made for me. There were four kids in our family and I had heard that she was gonna make each of us two quilts. So about 20 years ago, I received two of the quilts and then my brother gave me another quilt. So this is just one of them and it's, um, she uh, thinks that it's a glorified nine patch. But it's so unique because of this, the, the curves and it's all done by hand. I remember her having the quilt frame in her house. So she did most of her quilts, I think, by hand. And it was always amazing because then we could pick out the colors of fabrics we wore. My mom made me a dress out of this plaid, for instance, and I wore it the first day I wore it to school. I was all excited. I was in fifth grade, and I went down the slide and ripped it off me. So at that time, 10 years old, a, a teacher gave me a sweater, let me ride home two miles on my bike by myself, and change and come back. So it ended up in the quilt. But I, I'm sure some of these things, like the plaids and whatever, are, and, the, and the squares are from my brother's sweat shirts and my father's shirts and whoever she ripped something off of and chopped up and did. So um, she was living in Wisconsin in a very small town. So they were gardeners and they did lots of different hand things, um, a, lot of, a lot of skills. So this was the quilt that she get passed down to us. And there's other ones over there if anybody wants to see a couple more, but I didn't wanna, I just wanted to talk about this one.